Next into the den is Lucy Norris, who's returned to the UK after spending 15 years in New York, where she worked as a TV fashion reporter. Even though I've spent time in front of the camera as a presenter, walking in front of these dragons into a den is worse than live TV. Honestly, I cannot tell you how petrified I am. Lucy has come up with a clothing concept that she's hoping will be a hit on the high street. What we have for the dragons today is a way of changing the mindset behind consumers and the way that they decide to shop, style and source. I love that pink dress. Isn't that gorgeous? There's one dragon in particular that Lucy thinks could be the perfect fit for her fashion business. My favourite dragon is Sara. I'm very drawn to the way that she speaks to people and what she offers businesses. But don't tell the other dragons I said that. <laughs> Hi, dragons. I'm Lucy. I'm the co-founder of Secondhand Styling UK, a subscription-based retail model that celebrates clothes that already exist, encouraging our members to swap those clothes with other like-minded individuals. I spent 15 years in America as a TV presenter and fashion correspondent, and as I interviewed the celebrities, I was keeping a little secret. I was always wearing secondhand, but I knew how to make pre-loved look premium. Now, two years ago, I moved back to the UK and I realised my ability to be able to source and style secondhand was something that I wanted to share with others. So I built a series of pop-ups and now I want to create our first concept swap shop. So for £25 a month, our members will be able to swap five items from their own closet for five items in the concept store. So our model helps to curb the worst consequences of fast fashion and also create a positive and guilt-free shopping experience without new clothes having to be produced. I'm asking for a £70,000 investment for 12% equity of the company. Now, I invite you to have a look at the concept swap shop to see what we have to offer and also any questions that you may have. A subscription-based business allowing people to swap unloved items from their wardrobe is the brainchild of Lucy Norris. It's like a jumble sale, isn't it? <laughs> a premium style of jumble sale, now in a boutique. She's asking for £70,000. That does look lovely. In return for 12% of her company. A never not dapper Peter Jones is first to find out more. So I'm intrigued. So the business so far, is this a business? Have you been trading long? No. So I started the business four months ago with some pop-up shops. And that was when I realised to have a permanent space would be the best way forward. OK, but your idea that you've pitched yeah. is an online concept, is it? No, it's a physical store. And where's the physical store? So we have a space that I would like for it to be. So you haven't got it yet? No. And the £25 a month that you're asking people to subscribe, yeah. how many of those have you onboarded? So we have 120 subscribers to our actual platform. But are they paying you £25 a month yet? No. So it's purely a concept at the moment? It is, yes. But it's not a new concept, is it? Deborah, for example, she, I don't think she'll mind me saying, but she's wearing clothes that are not brand new. Is that right, Deborah? Actually, no, Sarah. This is a rental dress which has had five previous owners okay. before I'm wearing it sitting here in the den. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And it looks brand new. It's a £200 high street dress that's £25 a go to rent. It was a really easy service for me to use. If I look five years ago and I was buying second-hand clothes, I was having to buy them on eBay mm -hmm. or in a charity shop. There was nowhere else to buy them. Now, the last 12 months, I have been buying from so many different companies, so I think you are bang on the money with what you are trying to solve, and I think you're at exactly the right time. Thank you. Lucy gets a big thumbs up from her dream dragon. 
But has fashion retailer Tuka Suleiman spotted a potential problem with the sustainable swap shop idea? So, assuming that I'm going to come in and swap, so I will pick my worst 10 products and I'll come in and take your nice products. Yeah. And then my worst products that look terrible will now go on your rails. And by the time you've had 40 customers, mm -hmm. your rails will be full of awful products. How do you get around that? So we have a, a tier programme. Right. So basically, it will start off a basic swap is your high street fashion. Then we would go into a good swap, which is your high end fashion. And then later on, we can build out that into a tier system. Can I tell you something, Lucy? You will end up, after a couple of weeks or so, your shop looking like a real jumble sale. And, and I, I think you'll find that uh, people will bring in damaged goods, floors, you know, and, and you won't be able to control it. Lucy, can yeah. I just pick up on that? How do you intend to clean and repair? So we will make sure that everything is steam cleaned before it goes back out. And I would like to partner with someone to make sure that we are mending. So you've got five pound per piece yes. per month to take in, handle, steam clean, repair. Have you honestly factored in all of the time that that's going to take for you to do that? Yes, and that is where the quality control, it really is important, so we will have to turn away certain items. But turning away costs time. No, I agree with you. You've got yeah. to stand there and look at something and say, yes, that's fine, that can go on the rail and that can't. On top of that, you've got to pay your, your heating, your rent, any staff. I just don't see how you can handle each one of those pieces for five pounds and make any money out of it. Deborah Meaden doubts Lucy's business model will produce any profit. Peter Jones now wants to shine a light on a subject that never goes out of style, the price tag that's been placed on the company. Lucy, your sort of idea, you're valuing at about £600,000. Yeah. This is quite brave to come in to the den without a business being established and sell a concept yeah. at a quite a big premium for an idea. What is your skill in making that business happen that can give credibility to why we should invest? First of all, my ability to be able to source and make something look premium. So I can curate it, I can help style people. My experience in the fashion industry and actually being backstage at fashion shows, speaking to designers, and yes, I do agree with you, Peter. I am very brave coming in here <laughs> with a concept. However, I believe in it. And can I just say on that moment, just on the, the amount that I'm asking for, I don't want to come in and looking like I'm uh, aiming sky high, which is obviously what has happened, but I've tried to bring those numbers down. Lucy, the only thing I will say about <laughs> that, it's actually not even just the amount, it's the valuation. Okay. And actually, you've got off quite lightly because something has to underpin a valuation. Mm -hmm. And if I'm going to go out and raise money and I'm going to convince an investor on something that is untried, untested, mm -hmm. you needed to come in here and say, this is why mm -hmm. this is going to work. And you haven't sorted it out yet. Now, you're doing something that I would absolutely have loved. If this was the solution, there's my money. <laughs> Sadly, that money is staying right where it is. I'm really sorry I won't be investing. I'm out. An ambitious valuation and £70,000 request has cost Lucy her first dragon. What does Stephen Bartlett make of the second-hand swap scheme? There's quite a few high street, like, pop-up fashion concepts. You know, the one where you bring in a bag and you can fill it up and it, you pay five pounds for the full bag mm -hmm. and stuff like that. There's also swap concepts, right, yeah. that are on the high street as well. My, my point there is concepts get copied quick. Mm -hmm. And this concept, if it is viable, well, well everyone will do it everywhere. I, I, I can start a swap shop in Birmingham or I can start a swap shop in Manchester. So that feels like a big risk for your 
company that anybody could do this. So on that basis, I'm, I feel like I'm unable to invest. So I'm out. I'm obviously sitting here, which probably isn't my job really, to sit here to think, how could you turn something that you've pitched in and make it a business? And the reason why I say it's not my job, that's your job. And I think that's what probably you need to do, is go back and really think hard about how can you create a business and a concept, then trial it, mm -hmm. and then go and try and raise money for it. Um, because you've got a passion for it. But it's very difficult to part with £70,000 on a concept. So for that reason, I'm out. Can I tell you something, Lucy? With all due respect to you, you're asking for £600,000 valuation. You're a one-man band. This is not scalable. And for that reason, this is not investable, and I'm out. Tuka Suleiman pulls down the shutters on a deal. But earlier, Lucy found a kindred spirit in pre-loved fan Sarah Davies. Will her favourite dragon make this a vintage moment by making an offer? Lucy, I was really excited when you came in with all of the credentials you have to be able to do the styling, because that's the bit I struggle with. Mm -hmm. I need someone to help me say, that jacket will really go well with that dress. And that is what you can do. The problem is, essentially, you're asking us to put blind faith in your commercial model and bankroll it for a tiny proportion of the company. And I don't believe that the model is right. So I'm actually going to tell you, please go away and don't do this business. Don't launch this business. Go and try and find another way to achieve the same goal, because this is not the solution the commercials won't stack up. And when you do find the solution, you come and hunt me down, because I would love to invest in it. I'm desperate too, but this isn't the one today. Okay. I'm really sorry. So I can't invest and I'm out, but all the best to find that solution. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, Lucy. Thank, Thank you. you. Good, luck. Good luck with this. Sarah Davies isn't sold on the pre-loved swap shop, and Lucy's clobber concept crashes and burns. Obviously disappointed, but I knew it was going to be a hard sale. I didn't get the outcome that I would have hoped for, but it's not going to stop me from trying to find a solution for a big problem that someone needs to fix.